You are an AMV editor. You find yourself a good editor and want to teach your subscribers what you know, but you don't know how to make a tutorial, and you don't know from where you should start making a tutorial. Well, don't worry, bro. I'm here to explain to you how you can make tutorials like me, so we can all learn from each other's. First, to make a tutorial, you should choose what you will teach first, like for example how to make Twixter. Now you need to record yourself making the Twixter after that. You need to record with your voice, or use an AI voice like me to explain what are you doing, and sync your tutorial with the voice. And here I will show how to make this character animation, and grid background, and audio spectrum around my PFP. Let's start with the grid background. First, create a new comp and add a solid layer. Then add gradient ramp effect to the solid layer and adjust it as you want and choose the color you want. Add another solid and add grid effect, and you can copy my settings or adjust it as you want. Now the grid background looks flat and boring, and we don't need that. So add turbulent effect to the grid, solid and copy my settings. And as we see the grid is moving in a cool way, now it's time to add the PFP and audio spectrum. First get your PFP and make a circle mask around it, and pre-compose it. Then add another solid layer, and add audio spectrum effect and choose your audio. Then go to your PFP, go to layer, then auto trace and do this. Now copy this mask, to the audio spectrum solid, and go to settings. Change the path to mask and copy my settings. After that pre-comp, both of the PFP and audio spectrum layers, and put the audio spectrum in the bottom of PFP and add deep glow effect and you can copy my setting. Now get your character. If you don't have this characters I will leave you a link of some characters you can use. Now drop it in your comp and adjust it and bring the PFP with spectrum and adjust it in the head. Once you're done pre-comp the character with PFP spectrum and now animate it. Using scale and position and you can copy my animation here. You can also use rotation here like that. And now to add something on top of this, get your image and animate it like me. So it's slide from the bottom, goes up. And that's all what I have to show you in this video. If you want more tutorial like this, just tell me what do you want from to explain and see you guys in next tutorial.